Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timushanko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.5 and problem number 2.72. A horizontal beam AB is hinged to a vertical wall at A and supported at its midpoint C by a tie rod CD as shown in the figure. Find the tension S in the tie rod and the reaction at A due to vertical load P applied at B. That means a horizontal rod AB is hinged here and it is tied with a rod CD and it is subjected to a force P. Our interest is to find the reactions here and our interest also to find the force along the string. Now, let us see what are the various forces acting on the beam AB. Let us draw the free body diagram. That means the various forces acting on the beam AB. Here we can find a hinged support. Hinged support will introduce two reactions, horizontal reaction and vertical reaction. Let this is a horizontal reaction and this is REAH. And this is a vertical reaction. Let this is REAV. It is tied with a rod CD. Hence, a force along the rod CD and it is away from the point C. Let this value is yes. And it is also subjected to a applied force of magnitude P. This rod makes an angle 45 degrees with the vertical. Clearly given in the problem that CD makes an angle 45 with the vertical. That means this angle is equals to 45. Hence, I can resolve this S force into two component, vertical component and the horizontal component. Let those components are S cos 45 and S psi 45. The vertical component is S cos 45 acting from this point and the horizontal component is S sin 45 acting from this point. Now, let us apply the equilibrium condition. Sigma Fx is equal to 0. If I use sigma Fx is equal to 0, there are two forces acting along x-axis. That means Rah is equal to S sin 45. And sigma Fy is equal to 0. There are three forces are acting along y direction. Hence, I can write Rav plus S cos 45 is equal to P. Now, let us consider the third equilibrium condition sigma m about point A equals to 0. Taking moments about point A, that must be equal to 0. Now, Rah and Rav, these two forces are passing through the point A. Hence, these two will not introduce any moment. This S sin 45 force is also passing through the point A. Hence, S sin 45 also will not introduce any moment. Only two forces will introduce the moment. What are those two forces? S cos 45 and P. So if you take the moments about this point, S cos 45 will introduce a moment in the clockwise direction and this P will introduce a moment in the counterclockwise direction. What is the moment offered by S cos 45? Force into the perpendicular distance. So the line of action of S cos 45 is this one and the perpendicular distance is this much and this value is given as 1 meter. Similarly, the line of action for the P is this one, line of action is this one and the perpendicular distance means the line of action to the point of interest, this distance and that distance is given as 2 meters. Hence, if you take moments about point A, so P into 2 counterclockwise will introduce positive moment, so P into 2. And S cos 45 will introduce a negative moment, hence minus S cos 45 is the force into the distance is 1. So you can simplify this. Upon simplification, you will get S is equal to 2P into root 2 or it is 2.83 into P. Now substitute into the above equations. Now S sin 45 is equal to RAH and you know S is equal to 2.83 into P. So if you substitute this back, then you will get RAH is equal to 2P. And similarly, if you substitute here, then you will get RAV is equal to minus P. 
what is the meaning of this minus p we are initially assumed that rav is acting in the upward direction but in but the actual direction is vertical only but in the opposite direction that is the meaning magnitude is same only direction will change now rah is 2p rav is p minus p hence the reaction at a or a is given by root of 2p whole square plus minus p whole square and ra value is 